Lisa Tonumai stay with us after the break. You might remember her from her time with the Wiggles, Emma Watkins. She's back with her all new character, Emma Mima. How are you? Hi, hello. How are you? Hi, hello. Say goodbye to the yellow skivvy and hello to the orange dress. Former yellow wiggle Emma Watkins has taken on the role of Emma Mima in the upcoming series. Emma Mima dances, sings and she signs, bringing inclusivity to the forefront of children's media. And she doesn't do it alone. With the newly announced character Alvin Melvin helping her along the way. Hello, how are you? Hi, hello. Hi, hello. How are you tonight? And it's nice to see you. Green plane, my green plane, my green plane, la la. Flying, flying around, around. Flying, flying around. That's right, Emma Watkins and Alvin Lamb have been flying around making a surprise return to Aotearoa. Morena to the both of you. Thank you so much for coming in. You were talking off camera about a very early start. Tell us what happened this morning. We've only just arrived in Auckland <laughs> this morning at 2 a.m. <laughs> but look, it's just so lovely to be here in your beautiful country. And actually, Elvin, this is your first visit. Yes, it is yeah. my first time in New Zealand. <laughs> yeah, I'm so excited to be here. I can't wait to see all the sights and be a tourist in New Zealand. Elvin, is there something you're particularly looking forward to seeing in New Zealand? Oh, uh, the Sky <laughs> Tower, I think is probably it. I, I mean, when I, I came, I saw it. Uh, when I arrived, I saw it in the location, and it's, I've already taken photos of it, so yeah. Brilliant. It was probably looking a bit like you this morning, too. It was probably very bright at 2 o'clock in the morning. The sun hadn't risen. It might have even been orange or green, or who knows. <laughs> It was but a beautiful sunrise. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But look, well, welcome back. Last time we saw you, you were in yellow. I think this place was teeming with kids because they were so excited to see you. How does it feel to be back in New Zealand, but as a slightly different character? It's exciting. As Elvin said, we're so excited to meet the people here in New Zealand and actually introduce families to our new characters and actually get some feedback about what the community here are looking for with sign language included into a children's program. Yeah, that inclusivity is so important, right? How has it been received and how how do you think it's helping children out there? We've had a few meet and greets in Australia and we've visited Sydney, Brisbane, Melbourne and now Perth and it's just amazing to see children engaging in the sign language and we're hoping that the show actually gives parents the tools to engage with visual communication with their family so that there is a, a same system at home. Mm -hmm. And tell us a little bit about the new show, how does it look, where can we see it, how do we view it, for, especially for those of us that have children at home? Well, We've been filming a lot of things mostly on YouTube, so you can join Elvin Melvin and myself there. But write to us on Instagram, Facebook. We're really excited to see what signs people are using here in New Zealand and what the, what the favourite signs are and how children are engaging with sign language here. Yeah, I kind of feel a little bit redundant. I think Indira probably should have been doing this interview because she's so good at signing. But I was just a bit too excited to meet you both. You also put out a message to, to kids to come and meet you, right? They had to sign up or, or, or tell a little story about um, why they wanted to meet you both. How did that work? Well, interestingly, children and families have been pushing me aside <laughs> to actually sign themselves to Elvin. And Elvin, how, yeah, that's true. That's true. <laughs> Brilliant. How does that make you feel knowing that that Emma, who is just this global superstar, has been shunted to the side, <laughs> and yet here they are wanting to speak to you? Yeah, some of the little kids have come up and signed to me directly and it's really great to be able to see that. They've been learning Auslan, Australian Sign Language, so it's been fantastic to be able to see that. Uh, so Auslan and New Zealand Sign Language is quite similar. They're from the same language family tree, so I'm sure I'll be able to communicate with the kids here if they knew New Zealand Sign Language. Yeah. Did you ever expect that your character could come to life like this 
especially being deaf? No, I never thought something like this would ever happen, um, especially in Australia and New Zealand. And I really want to become like a role model for other deaf community members, um, deaf children, that deaf people can do anything and, and prove that by being here and doing this. You're getting so many claps, so many claps from the studio as you're saying <laughs> that. It's so neat. And, and how long are you here for? We're here for a week. It's a very short visit, but really just, it's a quick meeting for as many people as possible here in New Zealand and hopefully we'll bring the show here next year. Nice, brilliant. We're all a little bit low on energy when we come in here because it is so early. You are always <laughs> so positive and dancing around. In fact, I think we should probably get up and dance yeah. soon. But how, how do you bring that energy and how do you constantly engage so beautifully with your audience? It's easy with children, they're always excited and I think the music and the dancing and the movement is something that inspires them to be themselves. So we're really lucky to be part of that situation and that arena. Uh, it's just lovely to be with them and sharing that experience together. I think you even got your father dancing, didn't you? I did. Yeah. How did my, that work? My dad doesn't dance, no. Uh, oh, but I didn't know that. <laughs> <laughs> wow, that's amazing. <laughs> Yeah. Irish dancing, he's trying. Yeah. Mm. It was quite cute though, wasn't it? He was sort of shuffling, but I mean, that's yeah. probably how I dance. As well. <laughs> Look, <laughs> so we might need some tips from you. It doesn't really matter how you dance, but really it's just about connecting with each other, connecting with each other through movement. Really, Elvin is such an amazing backstory, but Elvin learned sign language and ballet actually quite late. Yeah, that's correct, uh, at a late age. Uh, I grew up, um, my parents and my family didn't believe um, that deaf people could dance, um, that deaf people could hear music. That's a, a common myth that people have. Um, so they didn't know. And so that was a bit disappointing for me to start late. But again, I'm here to show deaf kids that actually you can dance and you can do these types of things. You know? It's beautiful. How did you pick up the movement so well without hearing it? We, we feel it and, and also it's, it's something that's innate to me, it's in my heart. I, I follow the music in my own special way. And were you always dancing from a young age? Were you just so passionate about it and dancing around the room? Yes, <laughs> yeah I was, I, I'm sure. My mother used to take me to watch the ballets and I just fell in love. Wow, yeah, what a great pairing, what a beautiful yeah. pairing. So, so stunning and you'll be encouraging so many people, especially here in New Zealand as well. Do you find you're, you're still getting mobbed even in Aotearoa to people come up to you and chase you around? Absolutely, already at the airport, people, you know, saying hi to us, you know, arriving so early and uh, look, we weren't dressed like this, <laughs> um, but still I think the excitement from people here is just, it's so nice to see. We can't wait to meet everybody yeah. here in Auckland tomorrow. Okay, hey, we have to go. I wish we didn't have to, but I wonder, and uh, Shiga's probably not going to be very happy with me, but what about if you two maybe jump up? Yeah. And I'll do this throw and then we can see a little bit of dancing. Yeah. Do you think maybe, Sheegs, what about the vid wall over there or just here? What works best? Maybe a bit of music? Can we twirl? Vid wall, yeah, go over by the beautiful <laughs> wall, yeah, and, um, and we'll, we'll have you dancing into the break. Yes! Oh, I love this. Thank you so much. Here we go. We'll be back in a moment with your 8.30 news and sports. Stick around for a little bit of dancing, though. Look at this. Big bag hunter with the bow. She got a big bed, drop a low. Mama called me and she happy with the grow. Never ever fall for That's a no. Just pop the kidney about a million. Maybe that's a good Friday song. No, my hooky mate, and welcome back to breakfast. It's almost 8:30. How good? was that? Emma Mimma. So good. And Alvin Melvin. Alvin Melvin. You can find them on Instagram too. Go and follow them, but their content is going to be amazing. Yeah. Just gorgeous. I loved it, but what I loved even more, and I'm sorry that you missed it, but was the conversation and sign that was going on um, between you and Melvin. It was just gorgeous. Mm -hmm. oh, Seriously. Just beautiful. Beautiful. It's 8.30. Speaking of beautiful, here's Sam. The latest news. <laughs>